The Leash Mania Donovani Amastigo Spleen Smear Slide was prepared by first infecting a rodent with uh, Leishmania Donovani and then allowing the infection to develop within the rodent for a couple weeks. The uh, rodent was then euthanized and the spleen removed, cut in half, and then the cut end of the smear, or the, uh, the spleen was smeared or, or um, pressed against a slide that uh, caused the cell many of the cells to spill into the onto the slide and then uh, the uh, cells were stained and the confusing aspect of this particular slide it, um, really comes from the fact that it's so heavily infected that it's uh, that it, it's surprising that uh, this many amastigotes can be found so to find these, you simply uh, find a, an area where there's a large amount of cells and then um, simply go up to 40X and, and then on to uh, oil immersion. At uh, this with this 40x uh, objective, you can already start to see um, large numbers of amastigotes in and amongst the various uh, host cells. And the host cells that we would typically find in this area w would consist of um, red and white blood cells along with um, connective s tissue cells that are used to hold the uh, stroma of the spleen together. And uh, I won't expect you to recognize the various host cells, but you should realize that the spleen serves to as a storage for blood cells, and so it's not surprising there's lots of red and, and white cells. Now, at the uh, with the 100x objective, you can um, start to see the individual amastigotes much more clearly in and amongst about five or six uh, host cells. Uh, there are also red blood cells that stain kind of a, an orangish pink or, or maybe a light purple. Um, what I'd like you to, to look for in these amastigotes is the presence of a nucleus within each one and then at least in some of these um, you should be able to see the canidoplast canidosome uh, complex, which would be a dark dot um, located um, within the cell, um, usually in a little ways away from the nucleus. In the uh, section of the um, spleen infected with Leishmania donovani, um, you can see the uh, orientation of these infected cells, and in other words, where they're located. And I'm not going to worry a lot about the histology of the, the spleen. It's, uh, there are um, distinctive features within this, but the main point uh, that I'd like you to get from this is is simply uh, to be able to recognize the amastigotes in those sections, and uh, and actually the the um, infected cells are pretty much spread throughout the the whole spleen, but you'll need to look at these at at a higher magnification than um, either 4x, 10x, or maybe even 40x. Um, at 10x, um, basically all you see is a lot of of host cells and the um, amastigotes uh, really aren't visible. Even at 40x, it's difficult to uh, recognize those cells that are infected because um, the amastigotes are, are 
pretty small and found within e the cytoplasm of each of this, these cells. So we'll go to the oil immersion lens. With the 100x objective, it becomes much more um, possible to see the amastigotes. And if you um, if you look at the uh, cells within the field of view now, you can see lots of small uh, dots. Almost looks like pepper uh, added to the slide. Uh, those are the amastigotes in the various cells. This uh, shows a group of red blood cells um, that have congregated together. Uh, you'll notice that, that the red blood cells are not infected, but that um, many, most of, of the other cells within here are, are infected. And that's characteristic of Leishmania donovani. They don't uh, remain just in the macrophages. Uh, you'll in the field right now, there's primarily um, lymphocytes, the the, um, the small lymphocytes, and and you don't see many of those being infected, but uh, certainly all the re remaining cells um, show the presence of the infection. Most visceral organs are infected with, uh, in the case of Leishmania donovani, or at least can become infected, and uh, the, the uh, liver is no exception. Um, in this particularly infected slide, the challenge is to find uh, areas where uh, the cells, none of the cells are infected. If you look just kind of across the the uh, slide, you'll notice pink areas and then a um, little bit darker pockets. Uh, you should know that the liver is a, a kind of a boring organ in the sense that virtually all of it is filled with one cell type, the uh, liver hepatocytes. And so the, the heterogeneity that you're seeing is the, actually the result of, of areas of infected and uninfected cells. And uh, that becomes much more um, easily seen at uh, at 10x, where you can see the circular kind of dark areas. Those are pockets of infected cells uh, in and amongst the the redder uninfected cells. And if we go to 40x, that becomes even easier to see. So the areas kind of in the center of the field are uh, uninfected hepatocytes. And then as I move, you can see the uh, pockets of infected cells. And then finally, at uh, the 100x oil immersion lens, it uh, becomes easier to see the amastigotes present in those inf infected cells. And, um, so that you can see what looks like pepper uh, added to this particular group of, c of cells here, uh, the speckling, the black speckling, and then areas um, adjacent to that uh, where there are none, and these uh, represent areas of uninfected cells. You can actually see red blood cells um, in and amongst uh, the hepatocytes, and the liver also functions as kind of a storage uh, area for blood cells. There's lots of blood circulating through those. <laughs>